been watching the TV show, you know what's going on. Terry Golden beat me out of my belt. Well, let me tell you something, pal. I ain't forgot about you, and I've got a long way to come to get to you. Well, Billy Joe Travis, Frenchy Riviera, I've got Frenchy Riviera tomorrow. 450 pounds of mean man. Let me show you something, pal. Colorado Kid's coming for you, and you're the first victim on my hit list. MCW, where every match is a main event. Paul Adams at ringside with you, along with yours truly, Michael St. John. And this brings in the Colorado Kid against Buff Anderson. And this should be quite a matchup. Anderson coming into MCW with quite a list of credentials to his account. And speaking of this Colorado kid, I got to tell you, I am so sick of looking at this idiot's face. You see him going for a quick pin right there, catching the guy by surprise. I think he had a handful of the trunks. And I think everyone is really sick and tired of seeing this guy's face around here. He's no longer the champion. You see him there without his belt. Terry Golan's got that now. And this guy's fixing to show him right now that he's nothing, just a shadow of the man that he used to be. I say that there are probably 200 or so young ladies in this capacity crowd at the Music City Arena that would disagree with you as far as looking at Colorado Kid when he came from the dressing room to the ring moments ago. He was thralled. I mean, he was just surrounded by young ladies that uh, were quite obviously impressed by not only the looks, but the wrestling ability of this young man, the Colorado Kid. I don't know what for. Obviously, none of these little brats out here know what wrestling ability they have, what wrestling talent is all about. But as far as looks go, look at this guy. He can stick his face in cookie dough and make monster cookies. He's so ugly. He's got that greasy hair right there. I don't know why he's even trying to claim that Andy Anderson was in the hair. Why would he want to get his hand, his hand in that old nappy hair right there? I have no idea. This is a farce. Well, Colorado Kid has wore the gold around his waist before, and I can assure you, he'll wear the gold again because he has the stamina, he has the attention, he has the, he has the X factor, if you would, of being a successful professional wrestler in and out of the ring. Like I say, he's wore the gold before, and I'll bet you he'll wear the gold again. He's got the X factor. If X stands for excrement, he ain't worth nothing to me. I don't believe he's got any talent in the ring, and you see... For a guy who just got defeated on Thanksgiving night and lost his belt, a belt he's held for like three years straight and has hardly ever even been beaten one, two, three in the ring, you'd think he'd come out here and show some fire. You'd think he'd have a determined look on his face, the eye of the tiger, but no. He comes out here, he ponders to the crowd, he plays to these little black punk girls, and now you see him, he's sitting there playing around in the corner, toying with Andy Anderson. You'd think he'd come out intense, but he's not. Taking the measure, I might add, of uh, Buff Anderson here on television today. And as you speak of the Colorado kid and the way he approaches the match, when you're in a ring against someone you have not met before, you're going to take your time. You're going to take measure of the man before you go for the juggler or before you go for the pin. And that's exactly what Colorado Kid has done. As he improves, as he grows in the sport of professional wrestling, I'm seeing a mature athlete in the ring, someone that's not making a youngster's mistakes. I guarantee you, this guy didn't think he had room to grow. This guy thought he was, you know what, he thought he was posh, and he find out on Thanksgiving night, he wasn't polished. He's not the wrestler that he thinks he is. He's not the caliber of talent he thinks he is. He's not an icon, and he's not the main event. He thought he was, but Terry Golden proved to him he's not. And now I think he's quite uh, dismayed. I think he's quite confused. I don't think he knows where to go next. I don't think he knows what to do in the ring, and he's showing that he's uncomfortable at this point because he's lost his little security blanket, that North American heavyweight title. Terry Golden has some payback coming his way at uh, the uh, hands of the Colorado kid if and when he'll get back in the ring with the Colorado Kid. Back to the matter, Terry Golden ducking any good competition here in MCW, and I just hope the promotion will step in and make it a situation where Terry Golden is not getting to handpick his opponent as he has been in the past few weeks over the fact that he holds both belts, the Southern Heavyweight Belt and the MCW North American Belt. Au contraire, mon frere. You know what's going to happen if that Burt Prentice steps up and steps into things around here? You know what happens every time he stands up? The sun goes down. And what's going to happen is the sun's going to go down once and for all permanently on the career of the Colorado kid if he does get back in there with Terry Golden, if Golden deems him worthy of challenging for his two belts now. Well, while you were epistolizing there, you saw Buff Anderson make a tremendous wrestling move at the Colorado kid as he caught him with that spinning leg kick as he went over the top ropes. And right now, Colorado kid literally on the ropes both uh, with his throat draped across the rope and the fact that uh, his wind has been knocked out of him by the fact of that spinning kick by one Buff Anderson. On the ropes, not to mention his career and his mental state of mind right now, like I said over that loss on Thanksgiving, which, you know what, Michael, anybody that didn't see it, all the fans around the country that weren't here in Nashville, two witnesses live, hold on here a second. Buff Anderson going for the cover 
on the Colorado kid following that clothesline. Anderson not pleased with the count. Anderson making a good accounting of himself thus far in this match. Anderson could sneak one in right here, but getting back to what I was talking about. Sunset flip, Anderson down, one, two, oh, almost a three count that time by the kid. Let me try this again, getting back to what I was talking about earlier. The Thanksgiving night, the Tennessee homecoming is now available on videotape, and those people can see what I'm talking about. The beginning of the end, the start of the downfall for this Colorado kid. Right now, Colorado kid changing the course of the momentum in this match, going for the cover on Buff Anderson. Anderson looking for the ropes by his foot, and he got it. And he nearly, by a foot. Yeah, he nearly did miss it right there, but, but Buff Anderson's hanging on here. Let's see if he can get back and control this Colorado kid. He got... Kid kind of took back over there with that big clothesline right there. Now he's threatening for the claw. That's one of his big patented maneuvers, and Anderson needs to definitely avoid that. Right now, the Colorado kid sending Anderson to the ropes. Oh, look at him. He's going to hang in there, and now Anderson ducks under the claw of the kid and now goes to work on the side of the head with the fist. Off his game, isn't he, Michael? Off his game. Would you come care? Back body drop that time by Anderson, and look at Anderson. He's got things going his way. I don't think it's a matter of Colorado Kid being uh, off his game in the fact that I think Buff Anderson is making a good account of himself here on MCW today. So you don't concur with me? You no, do not, not agree? No, not in this particular, not in this particular instance. Well, I think you have two very evenly matched individuals. You've got Colorado Kid who knows his way around MCW. You've got a newcomer in Buff Anderson trying to make a name for himself, coming here with high marks and good credentials, and we're going to see the remainder of this match, and it should be one whale of a match as it has been thus far. Look at that maneuver by the Colorado kid. I'll say this, though. Anderson, he has only room for improvement, Michael. All he can do is go up, up, up. It's great to be an underdog sometimes, and that's exactly what he is. And like I said, this kid has been thrown off his game by his recent pinfall loss. Power slam that time by the Colorado kid. Got the two count on Buff Anderson, but Buff Anderson able to lift himself off the canvas and break the count. Another thing I got to say, you know, Terry Golden, which is pretty much kid's arch rival at this point, has Princess D, that lovely lady, and when she wears red, I like to say she's the lady in red. They wrote the song about her. Terry Golden's got her support. Who's the kid got? There is nobody in the corner right there. Kid's all alone in this world, and that's going to be another deciding factor in the outcome of this feud. Kid right now taking the measure of Buff Anderson, literally pillar to post, drop kick from a standing position by the Colorado kid. He's got that maneuver down, Pat. Now he's going up top to the top turnbuckle. He's going to turn around. Anderson is trying to get up, trying to straighten himself. But right there, the Colorado kid catches him with that short forearm. Kid now looks like he wants to do it again in another corner. Taking the measure, one, two, three. He's got Anderson down, coming down off that top turnbuckle, <laughs> but nobody home. What a hot dog. You see what I'm saying, Michael? All his timing's off. He's off his mental game. And you see Anderson taking right back over now. If I, honest to God, Michael, if we see an upset here, <laughs> you better keep your words short and sweet because you're going to eat them. Masterful maneuver right there by Buff Anderson as he locks the double leg lock and then reaches in and grabs the shoulder lock on young Colorado kid and right now Anderson going for a submission and look now going into the hair of Colorado kid could not get the submission pulls him to his feet backs him into the ropes sends him across the way no reversal coming off Colorado kid sets himself now there's the reverse neck breaker and the Colorado kid may be in trouble now I'll tell you what and there's another one second away from a pinfall for Andy Anderson. Imagine what would happen to Colorado. He'd probably retire if he actually lost another one in a one, two, three count in the center of the ring. But I'm telling you, you know what? Up to this point, I've been having some wishful thinking, maybe just keeping my keeping optimistic about Anderson, maybe thinking, yes, he might pull this out. But I'm telling you what, this is a very real situation right here, Michael. And Anderson might get the win right here on TV this week, MCW. He's nicknamed Buff Anderson in that time. Oh, look at this. As Colorado Kid with the presence of mind to step away from the turnbuckle. Anderson caught, whipped across the ring. Colorado Kid following through with a giant drop kick, and Anderson goes down. He loops the leg. One, two, three. He got him. Colorado Kid gets the victory here on MCW. You know, week after week after week, I come out here and I got to deal with people like Burt Prentice, and I got to deal with people like Michael St. John. You know, Prentice.